Hello everyone, in this video I will introduce our paper, Graph Fairness Learning Under Distribution Shifts. Let's begin from the background. Despite the success of GNNs, there is a growing concern that GNNs may inherit or even amplify discrimination and social bias from the training data, leading to unfair treatment of sensitive groups with sensitive attributes such as gender, age, region, and race. To mitigate this issue, many fair GNNs have been proposed. However, they are all proposed under the common hypothesis that the training and testing data are under identical distribution. However, distribution shifts frequently occurs and can adversely affect the fairness performance of existing FAIR GNNs. This is exemplified in the figure, where a FAIR GNN designed for job recommendation is trained on a social network from one state and subsequently applied to a network from another state. However, the two graphs are under different distributions. Specifically in the testing graph, there are larger feature differences between different sensitive groups, and nodes within the same sensitive group are more likely to be connected. After the feature aggregation step, the aggregated features of nodes will exhibit more bias, resulting in discrimination such as disproportionately recommending low-payment jobs to certain sensitive groups identified by race. Why might graph fairness deteriorate under distribution shifts? How does distribution shifts affect the fairness of GNNs? The answers from a theoretical and methodological perspective remain largely unknown. To answer these questions, we first theoretically analyze the relationship between graph data distribution and graph fairness, and find out that delta EO is mainly affected by two key factors determined by P, A, X, E. One is the feature difference between sensitive groups nuv1 nuv0. The other is the average sensitive balance degree of the graph U, larger U and nuv1 nuv0 implies more biased graph, results in larger delta O. Then we characterize the difference of delta EO between the training graph and the testing graph Iagiak, showing that delta OK relies on both delta OJ and EO group representation distance epsilon, which is determined by how much distribution shifts. To alleviate the unfairness issue on the testing graph, we not only have to minimize delta OJ, but also have to minimize the EO group representation distance. Motivated by the findings we present our framework Fatra GNN, which mainly includes three parts, A, the generative adversarial debiasing module to get smaller delta OJ on the training graph, b, the graph generation module to generate graphs with large bias and are under different distributions, c, the EO group alignment module to minimize the EO group representation distance. We use five datasets to evaluate the performance and compare our model with nine baselines. As shown in the table and figure, FATRA GNN outperforms all baselines in most cases. In conclusion, we study the unfairness problem under distribution shifts on graphs. We theoretically prove that graph fairness is determined by a sensitive structure property and feature difference between sensitive groups of the graph, and explain the reason why distribution shifts will lead to unfairness. We then derive an upper bound for fairness on the testing graph. Based on our analysis, we further propose a novel FATRA GNN framework to alleviate this problem. Experimental results demonstrate the effectiveness of FATRA GNN.